Hey, hey, Rachel, it's Kathleen. I wanted to talk about uh, the spheres, the idea of overlapping uh, spheres, because I was I was noticing how you're you're you are using the idea of round shapes, and I wanted to give you maybe some suggestions to how you could really um, apply the concept in a little different way. And so I did a little drawing here just to kind of show you, like in a pose like this, in this area here, you've got the nice sort of full, it's the pear shape. She's got a beautiful, you know, pear shaped body. And you've put the, the sort of round area where her abdominal muscles would be. But really what we, what we try to look for in, in these drawings, um, you know, working with these shapes is, and I got lots of paper, there's always going to be paper, um, is, is essentially, you know, you, you could start with the, you know, with the sphere and the head drops off of it. We build the, a little bit of the, you know, the gesture of thinking about, you know, where she is. And before you put the limbs on and everything, you know, think about the, the egg shape of the rib cage. Oh gosh, that's really light. Let me, let me go in and use something dark. Okay, so like, this should be nice and dark. All right. Um, the, the egg shape of the rib cage, and then the building on the gesture, right, the roundness of the hips, all right, and if you want to emphasize, you know, a particular shape, there's her pear shape, but this would be where we would put the uh, egg shape here, and the pelvis is, is, is down here, all right, so it, I've kind of, I want you to, um, I don't know, to just sort of work with with the roundness of it, rather than squ squashing it down a little, uh, for now. All right, and we'll think about things like, um, you know, shapes for legs. You know, a sort of an S shape that comes out of here. We'll get to we'll get to all that with legs and everything, but I'm not. I'm not finding this to be a solution that's particularly the best solution. So that's why I did I did one drawing there for you, and then you had I, I printed out some of your of your drawings. Let's see this one here. Which one was it? I was kind of looking for this, you know, kind of coming through the gesture here. There's a round shape in here, which I don't really see that you've applied that in there and in this area we're going to start maybe bringing a um, you know a, a muffler shape in get the overlap in here of the head but uh, building you know you know the the movement of, of overlap overlap uh, you had a a pose that I think oh I didn't print it out but I was just kind of actually it's this one I did print it out this one here, uh, again, it's very light. Let me get that light off of it. Ah, crazy, my little room here. Um, you, you've got the pose here. Lights, action, camera. Okay, so what I'm trying to get to is, you know, this you've really straightened out her back, but I'm, I'm going to go with this gesture that moves through here, building off of that gesture, that C shape, that strong C shape. And in, in your drawing, really don't have much of a, of, of a pelvis at all. You kind of put the, the thigh in here in a way too symmetrical kind of way. You've got the top and the bottom, you know, very flattened out. So, when you have um, a pelvis that's nice and round uh, here, you can really build off of that and also look for some overlapping forms. So here's her rib cage, there's her pelvis, and the head is like a, it's a, it's a sphere with a mask pulling off of it. The neck pulls through. And then I, I, I would drop these other things. But mostly I wanted to talk about this, this idea of uh, the head, look, have her look this way if you want. Uh, she's got a, a rib cage, a pelvis, you know, and th this is the 
this is the idea. Those are those are the shapes we're looking for. It's like she's turned her head around this way, that way, that way. All right. We can talk about this as a, a human being, okay? A kidney being. Like if you have a, a figure and they're pinching in a particular direction, if if they're essentially uh, you know turning away or something, if you've got the pelvis and and the rib cage, you get this kidney bean shape. That's what we talk about in the modules as the human being. <laughs> Not a human being, but a human being. All right. So think about how you might be able to, you know, apply that a little bit more to these areas because really what it gets down to is you've got this solid rib cage. But what we're talking about is hard things that do not bend. Then flexible things like a neck that does allow um, movement, the rib cage doesn't really bend. It compresses a little bit, then you get this movement in the pelvis that is going to move, I mean, in, excuse me, in the spine that does move around, and then you have the pelvis, which is again solid. So you've got hard things, flexible things, a hard thing, you know, a bendy thing, and a hard thing. Those are, those are the shapes that we're going to look for. Uh, first we turn them into spheres or egg shapes, we can also, you know, begin to turn them into, you know, next week, uh, pelvis. We're going to turn them into cylinders, all right? And the other thing you can do is uh, eventually we're going to look for, you know, boxes for those shapes. But I like to start with this uh, very basic round thing. But if you can't find it in the simplest uh, way, uh, then like here in, in this drawing that you did, you you found um, like a jelly bean shape, but really where I'd want that, I'd want that to be in here. You see, I'm drawing right on top of your drawings. I never do that in class, but you know what? Um, that's where I want the rib cage. I'd want it right where the rib cage is in that area. Okay? So there you go. Uh, hopefully this is this is information that you can use because I know that you're you're applying these concepts, but I'm I'm looking for a little more. Um, structural information about this and this and, th and then also f you know the forces of things we'll get into all of this this angles of things and all of that okay thank you that was seven minutes a little longer than I intended but have a good week bye